What's up, fam? How you doing? Glad you tuned in. This is another episode of Mom and Dad DIY. So, I've been building a uh, farmhouse, rustic, handmade furniture for a while now. Doing a lot of signs and stuff. And um, I started to finally start a Facebook page and start doing stuff uh, for other people besides people that I know. And did a couple nice barn doors for a few people. The missus, the mom over there, really, really like them. But unfortunately in our house, we have a lot of areas where you can't really slide a whole door over, nor would you really want a door in these areas, right? Um, so, she wasn't a fan of a bifold door. So we're gonna take this door and make it a bifold barn door. Are you ready? It's the reason you clicked on this, because you saw the title and you're like, oh, I want to do that. So here we go. Alright, first step, got to take a bifold door down in order to work on it. Should be pretty simple. Um, a couple of screws, and then I got to move the track because our home builder is a great home builder, but not so good finishers. So let's get this taken down. Literally, it was almost as fast as watching time lapse. Took less than a minute to take a bifold door down. A couple of screws, slide out of the track. I gotta come back in here and move the track back about a quarter of an inch uh, so the gaps work out correctly. The bottom gap's fine. Um, let's get to the garage. All right, so basically, uh, what we did, we went out and bought some quarter inch plywood and took the size of our bifold door uh, panel, figured out how many pieces of wood that we wanted in between, divided that number by that number, and came out with what we needed to rip each piece in. What's up, baby? Oh, you brought me something to eat? What is that? That's a tot. You wanna say hi? Hi, guys. <laughs> we, we are going to make dinner. So, it's done. And see our house and our door? No, they're watching me build the door right now. All right, what? love you. Go. Love, oh. love you, fans. Love you, fans. So basically what we did, we went and took... Oh, if you want to see more on that, subscribe to this because this is a family vlogging channel. Uh, but we went and took and we ripped down uh, pieces. We need eight, so we ripped down eight pieces at two and... I remember. I got a two and five... No, two and seven eighths. We've ripped down a few of those. Uh, then I ripped down a smaller one uh, to make the X on the door. Getting ready to rip down one, two, three more at about three and a half to do the nice little cross members. I went and picked up a uh, a handle, and yeah, that's that's about it. Getting ready to knock out a ladder for a uh, awesome friend and a great customer. So do a blanket ladder. You see the other blanket ladder over there. That's on that. Hey there. That's not an actual letter, it's a blank letter. That's the actual letter. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and rip down those and I'll probably do a time lapse of the assembly. Should be quick and easy. All I'm gonna use is some tight bond two and uh, probably some, what size is these nails? Three quarter inch nails? So yeah, some three quarter inch Brad nails. And that's gonna be the door. And then she's gonna be responsible for painting it while I make the letter. Yeah. All right, let's get to it. All right, so ripped all the boards we needed. There they are. There's the old door. And uh, basically I'm gonna take, I say I got some pipe bond, I'm gonna glue them down, square them up. And uh, this video is sponsored by my buddy Sean. Appreciate the air compressor. Maybe I'll sell a few of these doors and buy my own one day. Probably not, but appreciate you. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna nail them down with three quarter inch brad nails, run it all the way down. And then she's probably gonna paint it or I'm probably gonna paint it. Pretty simple project, right? Yeah. Pretty cool, pretty easy. Yeah. And you can finally get a barn door in there. I know. I like the looks. Thank you. All right, let's jump into a time lapse. A couple of quick tips and tricks. Uh, we took the boards that we ripped down on the table saw. I sanded the edges round just so they looked like they were uh, worn or used. Uh, then we just glued them and brad nailed them to the front of the door. Be sure to use something to space uh, for the gap where the hinges are so there's no issues or biting and opening and closing. We use Popsicle sticks. They seem to work great for, for gapping for most of our farmhouse projects.
Now it's gonna be a little bit of fill, some more light sanding, and then paint it, or wax it, paint it, paint it, wax it, distress it, and we're done. Not a bad little uh, Saturday night project. All right, so next morning, door's installed. Yesterday was a crazy day, so we didn't get a whole lot of videoing done um, on painting and distressing because I had to cut the grass, and it's Florida, so the grass was like this tall after a week. So cut that, wanna knock this out. Got it installed, got it put up. Uh, a couple of little quick tips. All we did was paint it our favorite color, uh, which is you know chalk white. I use a 320 grit sandpaper, distress it in a few areas, uh, put a cool little handle on it. One thing I can recommend um, is you know, maybe, maybe installing the handle or two handles here and here, because the pool used to be here, and this pool makes it a little bit harder, but that's fine because we want to keep the uh, youngest one out of the pantry because she likes to use it as a ladder. And we used to have a lock up here, but it won't fit because now the door's a little bit wider. So this one's just a little bit harder of a pull. It keeps her from climbing up and down on those. So that's it. Be sure to like this uh, video, subscribe, put a comment down below if you're gonna build one or one of the DIY videos you would like to see us do. But that is a wrap on a bifold barn door. Hopefully you guys like it. And yeah, we're done. So at the end of our videos, we always say peace. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel by clicking the circle logo right here. Also, check out the newest vlog we just uploaded. If you've already seen that one, we picked out a special one just for you. So go ahead and give that one a watch. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for stopping by. We appreciate you watching. At the end of our videos, we always say peace.